This is our fine print collection. And there we have something like 90,000 fine prints. And these are images that were printed by the photographer themselves. I like that idea, especially when you're thinking about what you find online, is that how an image is used and what the text, the relationship between the text and the image, um, be it in a something that looks like a meme, or if it's in just a, like an article, for example. It looks really similar. What had me put it together was their everyday. I'm Meg Jackson Fox, the Associate Curator of Academic and Public Programs at the Center for Creative Photography. And we are a, a museum and an archive space totally dedicated to the medium of photography here in Tucson. We also have a conservation lab so that we actually preserve it as well. So we are committed to the preservation of images, to the teaching of images, and also the housing of images. The fine print collection is just according to what photographers have printed on their own. Because in the archive space, for example, you could have negatives, um, but we don't actually print from negatives. Those are just a part of the research materials that you have access to when you come and research at the CCP. You can look into the autobiography or the biography of a photographer, but that's not going to really tell you the entire story because they operate in a larger ecosystem of other images. They also operate inside of a political and social moment, a cultural moment too. So you have all these dynamics that factor into what it means to make a photograph and what kind of place you're taking a photograph from. I would say that humans are a pattern, and part of our pattern is the visuals that we make. And there's this really interesting intersection of visuals across the history of photography, so since the 1820s, 1840s. Like, we are preoccupied with our own images. From the very beginning, we were taking images of ourselves. Uh, in the mirror, for example, we have images of doors and food and one another and family life. So there's this consistency that you can see. A lot of times the addition of understanding the photographer can add another story to that image that you weren't aware of, and to me that adds a layer of understanding to the image. How the photographer actually operates, whether they decide to manipulate the image or not, that they've photo collaged it, um, that they've superimposed things. Sometimes you know visually just looking at an image, but sometimes you actually don't. Um, the decision between analog and digital is really important in photography as well. So whether they've made like you know they've made that physical commitment to bringing out these like huge um, camera equipment out to the middle of nowhere to take these landscape images right is really it adds another understanding to what kind of dedication that they had. Research has really changed on photography in the, since the digital age, actually. I'm of the generation that started, you know, in between the library being the centerpiece for where you gathered your information to um, doing research on photographers who now have their own Instagram accounts. And those kinds of things actually become an important resource for researchers. The way in which you think about museums, the way photographers think about museums, the way they think about archives, the way they think about their own images, it's really being changed by the online space. Part of it is because they can make their own career based off of the online world, right? You have this new opportunity to bypass the gallery world, and, and this is an important quality of what it meant to critique art too, was the gallerist helped critique an art, a curator helped critique an art. And if you no longer need that medium, you know, you no longer need that middle person essentially to be helping to tell you all the things in which you're doing, like maybe you adjust this or this tonality needs this or a shadow here. If you no longer have that person who essentially was a, a backboard for your ideas and your thoughts and your art making, then you're, and you're going around that. You have a different kind of agency, for, and sometimes for better and sometimes for worse, because I think we all are a little bit better inside of critique rot. But that, that um, shift to having space to circulate your work on your own is, is 
definitely impacting not just the art world and not just um, the photographic medium because you have to think about the difference between a print and an online image, but it's also really changing the way in which the, the photographs look too.